The competition for landing a job in the current market is tight. So here are some strategic job search tools to help you earn a career. There are two ways to separate yourself from a large candidate pool, applying online and networking. Let's tackle applying online first. There are four smart steps in sending your resume electronically, getting organized, using keywords, avoiding acronyms, and following up. A popular and convenient way to start your search is with the click of your mouse on online job sites. And those sites are everywhere, all the time. So when you apply, you need to get organized. When online job searching, make a list of all the websites that display jobs suited to your interests, industry, and geographic location. Then what you want to do is copy and paste the site links into a Word document. Try to visit these sites daily and record the titles and dates of jobs you've applied for on each site. Also when searching for jobs, use keywords. You're going to want to type in specific titles or programs of interest to maximize your search. And also know that recruiters use keywords to find you. So get this, scan the description of the job you're applying for, plug in some of the keywords from that description into your resume, and voila! The employer's electronic scanning system may trigger your resume. Another tip for you, avoid acronyms. So let's say you're an ASWU senator. That's great. Congrats, but few people off campus will know that stands for the Associated Students of Willamette University. So spell it out for them. And when emailing, send your resume in PDF or ASCII format, unless specified differently by the employer. PDF is becoming the industry standard. If you use ASCII, be careful about your formatting. As for volume, Recruiters receive dozens of resumes a day, making you a potential needle in the haystack. Do yourself a favor and dig out of the hay with a phone or an email. It is acceptable to contact an employer one or two weeks after submitting a resume. So make the call and confirm your resume has been received and ask the employer if they'd like to schedule an interview. But if online isn't working, you'll be happy to know there's another way. A recent study from the Harvard Business School revealed that 80% of jobs offered in the last 10 years were earned by networking. So what the heck is networking? Basically, networking is meeting people. It's making a personal connection and sharing your experience and goals with people, groups, and organizations. There are two ways to build your network and reach out to contacts social networking and informational interviewing. For social networking, friending Daniel Radcliffe might not get you a job in Hollywood, but scanning for entertainment contacts on LinkedIn, the world's largest professional network, might. On LinkedIn, users create profiles to showcase their professional experience, background, and accomplishments. It's Facebook for job hunting. Once you create a profile, look for your school's alumni association on LinkedIn and other sites. Odds are alumni will be willing to help you meet and greet virtually with their contacts. Okay, now the other option is old school face-to-face -face networking. Meeting people involves attending networking events on campus or with a professional group, contacting professors and alumni for a professional advice, and requesting an informational interview. Informational interviewing is easy and it lets you ask the questions. It's where you interview others who have the information, contacts, or experience that help you learn about jobs, the company, and career paths. Make a list of companies or jobs you'd like to pursue and reach out to a professional in that role. Ask for the informational interview and have your questions ready. Not only will you gain the 411 on the company and the job, but you'll also have a one-up on your competition when a position becomes available. Go to these things, mingle with the people, and meet people in a lot of ways. Many companies will have recruiters on site and you can actually talk to them. Um, it's going to be kind of up to you to get in front of us and make yourself noticeable. The opportunity to interact with students and assist them with their questions that they have as they're looking at how do they develop in their career, particularly in their curriculum or major of interest and to create a networking opportunity for them that may not only be able to help them now, but even further down the road as they start their career. Savvy students can have a business card made to use when networking with professionals. The Career Center can help you craft a card if you need some help. So there you go. Go often and bring your contact information. Okay, so to nail the job of your dreams, you need two important things, and that's to do online job searching and get out there and do some networking. For direct application, Check your websites daily and organize the jobs you applied for. Use keywords, avoid acronyms, send your resume as a PDF, and follow up. On the networking side, get on LinkedIn and get out of your comfort zone. The more people you meet, the more opportunities will arise. You can do this by social networking, face-to-face -face networking, and informational interviews. And above all, remember to contact your career center. They have a variety of resources there to help you land the job of your dreams. Good luck searching.